Hey astrology lovers, this is your astrologer Julia Mikas with Luna and we're going to give you your August 2020 horoscope. Now these horoscopes work best if you use your ascendant sign instead of your sun sign and if you don't know what that is, then get your exact birth time and head over to my website so you can calculate one for free. I'm going to put the link below. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm producing short but sweet horoscopes every month. Hey Aries, now you're going to be chock full of energy all month because Mars is hanging out in your first house of self. Mars is going to go retrograde next month, so it's going to be hanging out in this house for a long time. So try to use your powers for good and not evil because if someone throws some shade on your sunshine, you're not going to be tolerating any haters now. Now this is a conflict prone time, so you might have to stand up for yourself on some issue. Try to clear the air where you can because you could blow up at the wrong person at the wrong time. Rawr. Mercury is entering your fifth house of fun, amusements, and children on the sixth this month. Mercury is the planet of mentation, and the fifth house represents games. So if there's anything you like to play, such as RPGs, crosswords, Candy Crush, or whatever phone game is trendy right now, your mind is going to be so much more focused on fun and amusement than work and responsibility. You could also be more mischievous now, where you just kind of want to play pranks on people. Hopefully they're going to find it as funny as you do. Even though you're a bundle of energy this month, Aries, when Venus enters your fourth house of family and home on the 8th, you're probably going to be wearing your pajamas a lot more than your jeans. And this can be a real homebody transit, but your energy is so high that you probably just won't be watching Netflix all the time because it's a great time to just get along with your family and put energy into beautifying your home in some way. Maybe you want to rearrange the furniture or paint a room to sort of make your palace more pretty. So Uranus goes retrograde in your second house of values and money on the 16th this month. Uranus is probably the weirdest planet in the zodiac and it's an outer planet so it takes about seven years to go through a whole house. It's been in your second house since 2019 and it's going to stay there till 2026. During that time you're going to have some ups and downs in your income that are going to be sudden and with Uranus it's really hard to tell which way things are going to go. Your values might also be transformed significantly towards the end of this cycle. Heads up Aries, because there's a full moon happening in your 11th house of groups and long-term goals. Your emotional focus is going to be on your friends or your future hopes, wishes, and dreams. A tight square from Uranus in the second house could mean that a sudden change in money may complicate some of your future planning or your friendships. Or maybe you have an unexpected challenge from a friend or group that you're a part of over some values that you hold dear. A new moon is also coming up this month in your fifth house of amusements, games, and children. So this means you're beginning a new cycle of activity and all things fun. Maybe you begin a new creative project or pick up an absorbing hobby. A lovely trine from Mars in your first house means that you're going to be pouring energy into all things recreational and creative. You may find a new and exciting passion or if you have kids, you might be having a lot of fun with them. This can also be a very fertile time, so try to back up your birth control if that ain't in your plans. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below so you don't miss any of the latest cosmic news. I'm putting out short but sweet horoscopes every month with Luna. <laughs>